The Prey.com cinematic audio experience features the world's most passionate leaders. Every week, we bring you the traumatic events and influential moments that define life as a leader. Learn how to maintain the ability to overcome the impossible and aim higher. Understand how to defeat failure and break barriers. Listen to the testimonies that distinguish character. These are the pioneers that lead communities. These are the stories that define destiny. This is life, leadership, and legacy. And next thing you know, about 30 minutes later, I hear a car pull up and you could imagine there was tremendous fear in me. So I looked over the fence and I saw one of my friends run up to the car, his name was O-Ridge, that was his nickname, and they pulled out a sawed off 12 gauge and they shot him and I remember him flying, literally he was taken off from his feet and, and like kind of hit the curb and then fell face forward. And the car sped off and I remember jumping the fence, took off my shirt, had a, uh, my jacket, and it was like the size of a baseball. The hole was in his back and I was covering it. And I was holding his head and I was telling him, man, you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it. And I was screaming, calling 911, and one of the neighbors heard the 12 gays they called. And, and Both were youth pastors at a church. They had taken a group of students to a local event and had dropped them off at the church and were on their way home. Before they turned off the highway, a drunk driver hit them head on and killed them instantly. My sister was my only sibling, and it was a, it was a terrible tragedy. It, it really changed me. I got to see um, people, even though I thought I was in this desperate space that, oh my goodness, I wasn't going to be able to go to college. I saw others that were escaping gang violence or escaping abusive relationships with their families or their significant others or single parents that had nowhere else to turn financially and that they were truly in desperate spots. You need to walk in their shoes first and start by showing grace, giving people the benefit of the doubt, and assuming the best. And so I try to be empathetic to people in their situation. And what I think this, this mindset does when we start with that, like, man, my cup is not just half full, my cup is full so it can overflow. Like I'm giving you full benefit of that. I'm totally assuming the best. And, and one of the themes in my book is if someone who has done 20 years in prison and has failed so publicly and has disappointed so many people around them, if they can get back on their feet, restart their lives, and launch a company after getting out, so can you. You can do it too. I think to truly leave a great legacy, you have to do something you've never thought you could do before. If you always do what you've always done, you're only gonna be where you've always been. But I'll leave you with this last promise. Romans 8.28 says, all things work together for the good to them that love God, and to them that are called according to His purpose. Beloved, your life has a purpose for God to be fulfilled in.